think visual effects are a big part of making TV now, whether you're making a courtroom drama or anything else. If you shoot the show in Vancouver and you're trying to make it look like it's Los Angeles outside the windows, drones and walls and walker drones have always been a big part of the show. So there's a tremendous amount of planning that goes into that. My first responsibility is to read the script, find everything that would be practical to shoot with a camera and what things are easier to make in CG, and then start drawing pictures and figuring out what those guys are looking for and how they envisioned it when they wrote the script. This affects, from an acting perspective, um, it's like doing theater. Your job is just to imagine something that isn't there is real. That's, that's just acting. <laughs> that's just acting. It's an acquired skill, but it's sometimes distracting, you know, because there's a person there acting like a robot, so sometimes you gotta get past the comedy of it to, <laughs> to get serious about it. The Walker drones, they're really of the same cloth as the flying drones that we've seen. They're the same technology. They come from the same group of aliens. We created a scale guide for a production assistant to walk through the shots. What's happening? Gave the actor somewhere to look. So it was just some poles with some strategically placed tennis balls. There's more than two people in the scene. The trick is always making sure that your eye line is in the same place at the same time and you're reacting to something on the same scale. And then it's down to little questions like, well, when its eye turns on and it looks at us, is it blinding? Where are the weapons on this thing that we would be clocking? How loud is it when it comes towards you? That kind of a thing, you know, so that you're making sure that all of your senses are reacting to it. What the hell? The thing with visual effects is that it's always in service of story, right? It's in service of the characters that we're following and the stories that we're telling there. And we finally enter the Seattle colony. It's basically a brand new show from Seattle on. We started from scratch. Everything that was sort of the survival mode, backpacks and survival gear, that gets left behind and we're now in an urban city. The Seattle colony I kind of saw as being a lot more sort of clean lines and angular sort of glass lines. My office, the skyline of Seattle is all in a green screen and I'd have to look out and see the city in flames. I could just let this city burn. It's always great fun to see this stuff visualized and come together because it's the last thing in the process, you know? You write the episode, you prep the episode, you shoot the episode, and then months later, you get to see the thing starting to come together. And it's really, you know, it's really great and really satisfying.